Okay, so this is going to be part two because I don't feel like splicing all these things together. Um, so I had emailed my boss and I told her that I had every intention of coming in the next day. And um, that night, my mother-in-law came over and she brought uh, Mexican food with her. And so she brought us Mexican. Um, the whole time I was having contractions, like I, that, um, yeah, that afternoon, um, I had started to have contractions again, which now I know that they were contractions. Um, started having contractions again. Sorry, I'm just gonna gun him real quick. Make sure he's still good. He is. He's just passed out. As soon as he wakes up, I'll show him to you. Anyway, sorry for the... <laughs> The interruptions um, that keep happening, but I got to get this done. So, um, or else it's never going to get done. So I was having interactions that afternoon. Um, you know, I told my husband that I didn't want to go out to dinner. That's why she brought the dinner over. Um, so she brought it over and I kept having to get up and go to the bathroom, um, because I had to, I don't know. I just had to, um, work through the contractions, not in front of her. Um, I just didn't feel comfortable. So again, I would like eat a little bit and then a couple minutes later I would go, I would like excuse myself and just kind of go away, um, to deal with them. So that's what I was doing. And that night is when everything just picked up. Um, it's kind of surreal just explaining the story and, um, and just like remembering that it happened and remembering that I actually went through this because, while I'm still healing and everything, it's still just kind of surreal to think that, like, I actually went through labor, um, and I have a child. It's just crazy. Anyway, um, so that night, the contractions, uh, were coming every, um, I don't know, kind of, uh, every six, seven to ten minutes or so, and they were lasting about a minute, uh, to a minute and a half long, and again, um, this was all back labor. It was all my back, um, and I was just, um, uh, at that point, you know, I was using my, my ball to, um, again, I didn't realize that this was, uh, was true labor at this point. I just knew that something was going on. Um, you know, I, I thought with the, um, the fact that it was taking so long between contractions, um, that maybe, maybe it was a very early stage of labor. And I kept telling my husband, I was like, you know, I, I don't know if this is the real thing. Could this be the real thing? Um, I'm only 37 weeks at this point because this is, um, this was Tuesday night. So again, I was about to, you know, I was right around 37 weeks. So, um, you know, I, I didn't know. So I kept having these, you know, contractions being that they were all like in my back and then I would feel, you know, feel my stomach contracting. Um, that's how I knew. So then, um, sorry, this, <laughs> this is my brain. This is why I haven't done this video sooner. Um, and I hear him like squeaking, making noises over there. So I'm gonna have to go get him in a second, but um, yes. So anyway, I texted my doula at 4.40 in the morning and this is where I'll start to go from notes. So that way maybe my thoughts will be a little more clear. Um, I texted her that, um, I've been having contractions all night that I had some, I did start to, um, have some, uh, pink, like pink show. Um, you know, one of the contractions I had gone to the bathroom and I was just sitting in there. And that was one of the other things. Every time I would have, well, not every time, but a lot of the time I would have a contraction. I would just go into the bathroom. Um, I would shut the door and I would just do my thing. Like, and I, don't, I honestly don't even remember really what I was doing. I was just, um, just kind of breathing through it and moaning. I was kind of like, mm, just, you know, moaning and breathing through them. Um, you know, and my husband was up all night too. I mean, he, he wasn't getting any sleep, um, just cause he was worried about me. So, um, Doug called her, um, our doula at around 7.30 in the morning and we told the doula that, um, that I was, you know, really experiencing these contractions, that they were really, um, pretty hard and that we were thinking about heading into the hospital, but we were going to wait a bit for traffic to die down. So we live about 45 minutes to an hour from our hospital and, um, and it's in the city. So we were, you know, we were not wanting to go and sit in traffic, um, that would have made it, made it worse. So, um, we drove in, um, well, we got everything, everything was already ready. I had bags packed, everything like that. Um, but we loaded up the car. Um, we told our puppies that we might be bringing a, a baby home. We didn't know. Um, you know, my biggest fear was getting, getting to the midwife and, 
you know, getting checked and then them being like, yeah, you're like two centimeters and you're like 10% of face, you know, whatever. You're crazy. So, um, you know, that's why we waited until that day to get checked. Cause I was like, you know what? I have to know something. I have to know what's going on. Um, something's obviously going on. Um, you know, what is going on? So we get there, um, at eight, at around nine o'clock, we, we left to go to the hospital. Um, we got to the hospital, um, like, I don't know, almost 10 o'clock. Um, they took, they, they knew that I was coming in to be checked. I called them. So they took us back to this separate waiting room that I could wait in since I was in labor. So, um, I was doing really well, but like I was, um, you know, again, kind of just breathing through everything. The ride wasn't very comfortable. Um, but you know, I was just kind of like hanging on to the, um, to the little bar kind of thing and, um, just kind of breathing through them as they came. Again, there was nothing I could do. It was just kind of sitting in the seat and just breathing through them. Um, so then when I was checked, I, I just like, after she checked me and told me, I just started crying because I, like not a lot of crying, but just like so happy. Um, because I was six centimeters and hundred percent effaced when I was checked in the office and they told me to go check in the hospital that I was going to be admitted and have my baby. So, um, that was just so incredible. And, um, I, I just couldn't believe it. Um, you know, we were walking back to the car and, uh, I was like, we're going to have our baby. You know, I'm, I'm like, are you ready to have our baby? We can have our baby today. So, um, we, we called, well, actually Doug, um, Doug and his mom worked together in the business. And so his mom called because, um, Doug was supposed to have a conference call that morning and like not five minutes, um, from us leaving our house, he received a phone call, um, from the lady he was supposed to have a conference call with. And he was like, um, by the way, yeah, I'm sorry. Um, I'm going to have to miss our conference call. I'm driving to the hospital right now. I think my wife's in labor. So, uh, that was funny. Um, pretty cool. So his mom called to check on how that conference call had gone. And he was like, well, I didn't have the conference call. We we're heading to the hospital. We we're having a baby. So, um, so then I called my mom. We didn't want any uh, parents there or anything like that, but we, um, you know, we went ahead and told him that, you know, what was going on since she had called. So, um, our doula arrived at, um, 11 15. We had gotten checked in by this point. Um, when we got checked in, one of the, um, one of the nurses, you know, we were just kind of waiting outside, to, you know, this, this room to be admitted. And, um, she came back and she's like, oh, we're getting you in a room. I didn't realize you were that far along because again, I was breathing through them. Um, I wasn't like screaming in pain. I wasn't, you know, anything like that. Um, the contractions were painful. Um, again, it was all on my back. It was a pain that I was used to experiencing, um, but again, it wasn't so bad that, um, you know, that I was like visibly upset or anything. I was just, you know, very calm breathing through them. Um, and that was, that was really it. Um, when my doula arrived in our room, um, I was standing, um, I was just breathing through them and just doing lots of, you know, swaying, um, swaying motions. So again, I was just standing, um, kind of on the bed, over the bed, um, just kind of leaning through them. We gave them our birth plan, which I don't know if I ever read you guys our birth plan. I think I might have. I don't know. It's, I try to do VEDA and toward that end of August, things just got crazy. Um, but if not, I will go and I'll read it, um, to you guys again. Um, but we handed out, you know, we gave them our birth plan. I wanted to labor my own clothing if possible. I wanted to have uh, no IV. Um, I would take a hep lock if they needed to, which I ended up not needing to, which was great. So, um, they just came and took some blood from me. Um, they did, um, monitor the contractions and they also monitored the heart rate. Just when I first got there, they wanted a strip. Um, and I think that that took about maybe 15 to 20 minutes or so. Um, you know, just again, to see the contractions and to also see, um, see how the baby was. So, um, I'm going to go ahead and cut this now. And so that's where I'll leave you at, um, part two. I will just say that we were, we were getting monitored. Everything looked great. Um, and I was still, you know, working through contractions. So I'll be back for part three. All right.